takes a lot out of teams, right? They go the first punch. I mean, that's a, that's a big first punch you got to sustain, and that's that's the hardest part. So I think in the third quarter, you know, we come with better thrust, a uh, better pace, and obviously, you know, step, step ahead of that side. Is that counter punch always in the back of the mind, no matter what happens in the first quarter? First yeah, half, yeah, but we don't we don't rely on it. It's just one of those things where we take a look at the game, we take a snapshot of the game, what's happening right tonight. Uh, we're probably the worst first half in the whole series, uh, but just seeing where we were, you are encouraged by that, right? So, not down 30 instead of you know down 11 instead of 30. So, um, you know, I think it's just kind of coming in, readjusting, and Thank making, you. making adjustments. What were the I mean, thoughts going through your head? The turnovers early, you know, all those type of things are not things that happen to this team during the regular season. I mean, why this series? I mean, the turnovers? The turnovers and fewer assists, fewer ball movement, and the things in, in these games didn't happen during the regular season. Well, I've been here four years, and turnovers have been our benchmark. <laughs> <laughs> Like but <laughs> what you, what you, I understand what you're, what you're asking is just uh, they're switching, they're switching in their uh, physicality. You know, they had good matchups going on, the right personnel this year. Some of the pieces they brought in, at least, you know, uh, defensive presence, you know, um, along, you know, along with their stars. Well, Sean, obviously the numbers speak for itself, but like specifically Kevin what do you think helped fuel them having those kind of nights they usually do as opposed to you saw them just settled in. I mean, you know, Steph is, I mean, he's one of the best as far as, you know, just staying with it, you know, like his energy and his spirit, you know, is, is unmatched. You know, I've never really been around a guy like that where, again, he can go over 10 or 3, hit, hit one, and then start shimmying, you know, like that's just supreme confidence that's, uh, you know, uh, good energy, good spirit, and so he carries that throughout the whole game. So it just takes, like tonight, you see, it just takes that one little burst to get loose, and then it's a game change. Sean, talk about PJ Tucker and his play for you during the whole series. Yeah, I think I think honestly, PJ Tucker was, you know, a key addition to their team. You know, obviously Chris Paul went out, but you know, PJ Tucker's the heart and soul of their team. You know, and. Uh, I mean, he, he's the engine, you know, that keeps guys going, right? I think they would have, you know, I think we would have had maybe an easier time in this series if it weren't for B.J. Tucker because, you know, he just, the, the spirit, the energy that he brings, you know, the way that he fights, he moves guys around, he's a physical player, and I think that, that gave us some problems in this series as far as matching. What does this mean to you just to go to the fourth street? It's just everything is yeah. yeah, it's amazing. It's exhausting, first of all. But I mean, it's, it's, you know, I don't take it for granted. You know, I'm truly grateful for it just to be up along with this ride and with some uh, incredible players, incredible talent, uh, great coaching staff. So uh, I don't take it for granted. And, you know, I'm. Uh, Make most of it. Michelle, just how Houston was defending you guys the series. How did you see like the dynamic schedule and Kevin involved just in terms of like when just trusting for us, them to get trusting us, together. trusting us, trusting us because that's the thing, you can go one on one and you know, you can try to go for yours all game, but uh, you just have to trust trust us to try to break down the defense and then knowing that, you know, their talent is going to take over, but you know it might not be the first quarter, second quarter. It might be the third, and then once they break loose, now you see the dam. You know, the dam comes down. Oh, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on what was your What was your uh, real thought coming out for the third quarter? Uh, I, I, honestly, I felt good, Monty. I ain't gonna lie to you. I felt good about it just because we couldn't have played any worse. <laughs> I mean, you could probably, but in my mind, I'm like, there's no way. I mean. Defensive assignments, turnovers, you know, not fouling when we should, everything. I mean, it was just like, it was just all coming down at once. So I felt good about it being where we were and knowing that we had another half of basketball. Um, you know, everybody else knowing that we got one half to try to put it together. So, you know, give everything you got. And with our talent, you know, you got guys playing full throttle. You know, as long as we were smart. You know, I felt good about it. It looked like the energy picked up after half time. Yes, yes. again, again, you get a chance to come in and kind of recalibrate, right, and uh, see where we can make those adjustments. And sometimes it's just effort, just you know, playing harder, and then obviously playing smarter. And I think, I think we did that. We settled in a little bit. Was that was that game seven? Jeepers coming out.
Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I mean, we we uh, they'd be lying to you if Don said they weren't nervous or well, you know, you could you could feel it in the arena. You were there. Like the hair is thicker. You know, everything is more tense, and that's just the way it goes. Uh, but you just have to be. Guys, just so you know, KD, Clay, and Steph are headed into the room. Thanks, Raymond. No one will block. Sean, last question. Going to game one on Thursday. What do you need? Oh, we need them to bring it, just like Game Six, just like they, you know, are back against the wall, right? Uh, human nature to kind of say, "Oh, we got this," but you know, we need a real home court advantage. So we look forward to Oracle Rock.